Kennedy Space Center, Florida. Prime launch site for America's ventures into space. In 1974, it was designated one of the country's historic places at ceremonies attended by the Apollo 11 astronauts. This is where man began his journeys to the surface of the moon. Nearby is Cape Canaveral. From here, America launched its early satellites and first astronauts into space. Today, rockets continue to boost spacecraft into orbit from the historic Cape launch sites. America's spaceport is also a wildlife refuge where animals native to Florida find a protected home. Within the boundaries of the Space Center, a beautiful ocean beach, part of the National Seashore, is open to the public year-round. Thousands of migratory birds spend part of their winter here. Plants and trees grow in abundance. Spaceport is a dynamic base. Facilities of concrete and steel are being made ready to serve the new space vehicles of tomorrow. Kennedy Space Center is a unique area. Historic landmark, active launch base, wildlife refuge, national seashore, and open to visitors from throughout the world. Over one million persons each year see the space exhibits. Learn about future space projects. Visit the launch areas at America's spaceport. Most of them see the unique facilities by air-conditioned bus on tours operated for the space agency. Knowledgeable tour guides provide the visitors with an informative commentary. The group of buildings which we are now approaching are collectively called the industrial area of Kennedy Space Center. The spaceport's industrial area houses scientists, engineers, other NASA personnel, and supporting contractors. The Apollo astronauts trained here for their space mission. The lunar landing module you see here is not a model, but an operational spacecraft capable of flight. Houston, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Man must explore. And this is exploration at, at its greatest. Ahead of us is the VAB, assembly area for Apollo, Skylab, and shuttle vehicles. The building is 52 stories high. A memorable highlight of the Space Center tour is a stop at the Launch Control Center, where a realistic recreation of the Apollo 11 launch takes place. This is one of the actual firing rooms used for the countdown and launch of America's moon landing missions. The sounds, voices, and scenes are all authentic. Apollo 11, this is the launch operations manager. The launch team wishes you good luck and Godspeed. Oh, thank you very much. No, it'll be a good one. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence starts.
Kennedy Space Center bus tour is a quick review of the launch programs conducted at the spaceport. Visitors experience an enjoyable, impressive walk through space history at many of the tour stops where rockets and space hardware are on display. At the beginning and end of the bus tour, a leisurely look at space accomplishments is available at the visitor's center. Free exhibits, movies, and demonstrations are regularly featured. In the Hall of History, manned spacecraft are on display. They carried astronauts into space and returned them safely to Earth. Skylab exhibits tell of recent space missions. Here are replicas of the spacecraft that have explored the far corners of the solar system, as well as those which have greatly improved the world's communications and weather forecasting systems. The space shuttle display describes the future benefits of the reusable space vehicle of the 1980s. Many visitors show particular interest in a lunar rover model the vehicle used on the moon by the astronauts. Continuous motion pictures review current NASA activities. Man began crawling in space in Project Mercury. He learned how to stand up in space in the two-man Gemini program. He walked in space in Apollo and Skylab missions. And with the development of the shuttle, man is now learning how to fly in space. And it hasn't been too many years ago... A lecture demonstration answers many questions about rockets, spacecraft, and astronauts. No, he's not a real astronaut, but visitors seem to enjoy a close inspection of the mock space suit. Spacecraft and large rocket stages are on display outside the building. A model of the lunar landing craft is a favorite with photographers. There is time to enjoy some refreshments and relax at the visitor center. A variety of informative books, space photos, and models of space vehicles are available in the sales store. The impressive accomplishments of America's space age are interesting to both young and old, to Americans and foreign visitors. The individual, family and group are welcome at the visitor center. Tour personnel are on duty daily throughout daylight hours to offer assistance. Whether the visitor spends a few hours or a full day at Kennedy Space Center, he is sure to enjoy an informative visit at America's Spaceport. <laughs> <laughs>